What's up my friends? So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create this cool zoom effect. All right, so we are in DaVinci Resolve and now I'm going to teach you how to create this zoom effect. It's pretty easy. First of all, you need to have an introduction shot. So when this girl closed her eyes, I want to step in the dream of that girl. So she wanted to become a, a dancer, visit beautiful places. All of these clips I put in the middle and then I need to have an end because then at the end she will open her eyes again and she wakes up from that dream. This is a small story, but works really good for this effect. So now every clip is three frames long, okay? How can you test this? So you zoom into your timeline and then you go frame by frame, you go to the right and you count until three. So one, two, three. Boom, next one, one, two, three. So this is what you do for all the clips right here. Important note for these small clips is that in these clips, you want to center a face or a hand or something that is very clear to see at a split second. To build this transition, we need an adjustment clip. So where can you find it? You go to effects and under effects, you see adjustment clips. So grab this adjustment clip and put the adjustment clips over your video clips. And then we want to make a cut right here because that is where our uh, transition starts. And then we want to go all the way to the right and then click on split. I use shortcuts on my loop deck, pretty helpful. Then we have another adjustment clip over here. All right, so what is an adjustment clip? Imagine it as a transparent sheet you can lay over your clips. Instead of changing the clips itself, anything you add to the adjustment clip affects all the videos underneath it on the timeline. All right, so now we want to affect this part of the adjustment clip. So click on it and go to your Fusion tab. So now we are in the Fusion tab and now right up here we want to add a new note. So how can you do this? Hit Shift spacebar on your keyboard and then type in Transform Note. And you want to add this Transform Note, not the uh, XF, but this one. So double click. Right here we have the transform node. So where can you find this transform node? So if you go up here to the inspector tools, you see transform one. Here we can start to manipulate our clip. So we need to tell DaVinci Resolve what exactly it is that we want to manipulate of this clip. You need to add a keyframe. So you see these diamonds up here, these are keyframes. When you select the keyframe, they are getting orange. When this keyframe gets orange, you are manipulating the zoom of your video clip. So let me show you what I mean. So we want to start the zoom effect at zero. Then we want to grab this red line and move it all the way to the end of the video clip. So 28. Then we go to the zoom effect and you remember we added the keyframe. So when we now zoom in into our image, it will automatically add a keyframe. So let's zoom in. So now let me show you what we did. All right, so now we notice that her face is not in the middle. So how can we change this? You can change it by affecting the position of your video. So remember, we want to change the position of the video clip. So move this red line to the begin and now hit these diamonds. So DaVinci Resolve understands that you want to manipulate the position. Then you are moving this red line all the way to the end of your video clip. And now you can start to manipulate the video clip wherever you want, or I will leave this to zero. I will only affect this one, something like this. Yeah. So the next thing that we want to change is the rotate effect. We want to start at zero. We want to end it somewhere here. And we want to slightly rotate it. So we hit five. And now we have a really nice tiny rotate effect. Okay, now we want to add a really nice and cool zoom effect. So how to do this? Shift spacebar, type in zoom blur and you click on it and then you add it and right up here we added the zoom blur effect and now we want to go back all the way to where the video starts, so zero. So go to your inspector, open up the zoom blur and right up here you see also these diamonds. Every effect with a diamond behind it, you can manipulate. So you can manipulate this. So let's do this. Let's put it back to the normal position and let's say that 
I want to start at a just clean image. So hit this diamond and pull it all the way back to zero. And then we go to the end of the video clip and then we want to go and increase it to let's say 0 0.6 or 0 0.5. So let me see what we just created. Hit spacebar. The next step is you want to click on spline and right up here you want to click on your zoom transition. What can you do with this line? So basically if you select this area right up here and you hit the S button on your keyboard, it will make it a nice curve. If you want to work more precise, you can do this by clicking on this line, pull it all the way up or pull it all the way down. But I leave it to this S curve right up here. If you want to also manipulate the other side, you can do that as well. Select it and hit S. But I don't like that. I just want to be gentle with this. And for me, this is just perfect. You can also do that for your zoom blur effect. But I like a linear effect, so I will not affect it. But if you want to do it, just select it, hit S on your keyboard, and then you have a really nice S curve. I don't want that, so Control Z. And then we are done with this effect, and we are moving on to the next part. Right, so let me see what we just created. Boom. Slowly zoom in effect with a really nice cool blur. So now we're going to affect the second adjustment clip. Click on it, go to your Fusion tab. Basically, we are going to do the same. You want to add a transform node, shift spacebar, type in transform. We want to have this transform node, so double click on it. Then we want to type in zoom blur effect and we want to add it. Now, I don't want to see this zoom blur effect. I want to disable it. Click on the zoom blur effect, go to your inspector and disable this effect because now we are only gonna work in the transform node. We want to go all the way to the begin of our video clip and right up here, remember that we want to change the position, we want to change the zoom and we want to rotate it a little bit. So let's start to manipulate these things. First start manipulating the rotation somewhere until here. I want to rotate it to the, to the right Be gentle with this, so I will hit eight. And then we want to go all the way to the end of the video clip and we want to rotate it all the way to the left. So minus eight. And now you see also these weird lines because we also need to zoom in this effect. Okay, how can we do this? So when I increase this zoom effect, it will automatically add an orange keyframe because remember in the begin, we added these keyframes. Let me show you. Let's say 1.3 and you see it added automatically an orange keyframe. Yeah, oh, I really love this. So in this case, I don't need to manipulate the position. So I will disable this keyframe. So now we want to enable this zoom blur effect. Click on this effect and then go to your inspector tool and then you want to enable the effect. You go all the way to the begin of your video. There you will set a keyframe. We want to start at around 0 0.3. We want to end at 0 0.5. All right, so now let's see what we created so far. And now we're gonna manipulate the last adjustment clip. Click on this adjustment clip. We want to go to our Fusion tab. We're gonna hit Shift Spacebar, add the good transform node. So this one, double click on it, add it. And then you're gonna hit Shift Spacebar again. Then we want to add the zoom blur effect. So now we want to disable this zoom blur effect again. And we want to click on the transform node because this is the first node we are going to work with. So right here, we want to manipulate the zoom. So click on this diamond and we want to rotate it. And I also want to change the position. So now I want to start already a bit zoomed in. So let's say 1.2. Then I will change the rotation somewhere like this, minus 
six around here where she opens her eyes. I want to zoom in. Let's say two. Then we are going to change the rotation. Let's put it to the other side. So let's make it six. And now we want to change the position. Uh, let's keep this in the middle. Let's pull it. And let's pull this one to the left so that it's nice in the middle. And now let's see what we created. Boom. So now we want to enable this zoom effect. Go to your inspector tool, enable the zoom effect, and we want to start this effect at 0 0.4. Let me see where we end our transform node. So click on your transform node. So right here at 92, we end our transition node. So if I go to my zoom node, I grab this red line and I move it all the way to 92. And then right up here, I want to go back to zero. Now let's go back to the edit. Okay, now let's see what we just created. So one pro tip I want to give you is you want to use the dynamic zoom tool. So the dynamic zoom is basically a function in DaVinci Resolve that will automatically zoom in or zoom out your video clip. So you don't need to keyframe or whatever. How to activate it, click on your clip, then go to dynamic zoom. And now you don't see anything because you need to activate right up here the dynamic zoom tool. Then you see a red box and a green box. When the red box is in the front, it will zoom into your video clip. When the green box is in the front, it will zoom out of your video clip. We want to zoom in for each clip, so I swap it. I leave this box to the default settings and I do that with every single clip, okay? I leave it to the default setting because when I'm going to manipulate this red box and you can do that. So let's say for example, I want to make it wider and I go to the other clip. It's pretty difficult for me to remember how wide you did this in your first clip. I just leave this to the default setting. So I know the amount of zooming is just perfect. I also want to do that for the first clip. So go to the first clip and activate dynamic zoom and I zoom into the eyes so you can grab it and you can tell DaVinci where it needs to zoom in. So it needs to zoom to the right, to the middle or to the left. I want to zoom into her face. Let's disable this effect. Boom. And I also want to zoom in this last clip. So hit the dynamic zoom tool. If we want to see our boxes, remember activate this tool. Then we want to zoom in even a bit more. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, my friends, I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like or subscribe and I am going to check you out in my next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.